Hello, Flighty here, and today I'm going to show you how to animate using just paint in Movie Maker. I'm going to have to do this quite quickly though because my computer could go up any minute. It's absolutely rubbish. Anyway, first of all, canvas size. I normally pick something relatively small because I'm lazy and don't have time to work on big things, so let's see. This will do. If you have this canvas is 350 by 172 and yeah that's the general canvas size I use. Like animate something. I'm gonna animate something relatively simple. I'm gonna pick a Spiro. So I'm gonna draw my first frame of a Spiro here. By the way, you can probably tell I'm using the newer version of Paint. Uh, this will work on any version of Paint as long as you with just the controls on different places. Anyway, I'm going to ink this. I'm a moody birdie. Absolutely shit. Okay, it's cool. It's all good. Do. Okay, here's a quick trick to get rid of that line art rather than erasing it. Select all, cut, and see how the line art was that colour blue? Select that and make sure my transparency is on and when I paste it back, it's made the blue transparent. I'll change that back to white. Rel relatively simple. Okay, um, colouring. No. Don't colour it yet because that can mess stuff up. Okay, so select all of that. I'm going to save this. I'm going to create a new folder to save it in so I don't lose it. I'm going to find out how to create a new folder. Um, there. Spiro. Title this frame. Also the best setting for this is ping. Don't save it as JPEG because that messes up the whole fact that you can re-edit the frame. You can't do that with JPEG. Vidmap's alright, but it takes up more room, so ping's the best. Let me save that. I'm going to draw the next frame. And to draw the next frame, I am going to use my first frame as a base and using a different colour from here. I'm going to draw the next frame. Gonna give him a people this time. Didn't have one before. Ah! Okay, so there's my next frame. Quite shit, but never mind. Anyway, I'm going to use the same technique as I did to get rid of the blue sketch before. I'm going to select it all, I'm going to cut it, and I'm going to select the back as the trans the black back. Black is the transparent colour, and paste it back, and it's red. Now, here's another neat trick. I'm going to select it all, cut it, and since I've left that as black, that goes all black. I'm then going to select the red to be transparent, so when I paste it back, you can see the black from underneath because the red's been made transparent and it automatically inks your line up for you, which is great. And I'm going to save that as... Definitely click save as not save, otherwise you'll erase the previous frame. Let's see if that is from 2... And repeat... Obviously, if you're animating, you probably want to do it a bit better than this <laughs> kind of shit. Pardon my language. Same as before. 
black is the transparent colour, paste it back, select all, cut, leaving the black like that, making the red transparent, paste it back, save as, and pretty much repeat until you're happy with how many frames you've got. Okay, I'm going to do one more frame because we're going to be here all day. See, I left the red as transparent colour so it's mirror background red. Easy fix for that is paint it white, switch that to black, and we're sorted. And you're frame four. So I've got four frames in that folder. So now open Windows Movie Maker, wonderful, and I will import those into collections wherever I put them. See if I can find them. Yep. Select all those, bring them in, and as you can see, I have my Movie Maker timeline as timeline, not storyboard. If you click show storyboard, it looks like that. But you'll want it on timeline for this to work, and I'll tell you why in a minute. Okay, so bring in my frames. It's frame one, frame two, frame three. Frame 4. Okay. Now as you can see right now there's a big problem. It's far, far too slow. So this is how you fix that. And this way you need it in timeline mode. Go to your very first frame. Click along. I want this frame to be a bit longer so I'm going to play it a bit and then pause it. I'll cut it. Now for my next frames I want them to just be a second. So zoomed in as much as I can. I'm going to just click a long one on the first frame so the thing moves a long one and cut it. Now sometimes this won't work with Movie Maker, I don't know why, but if it doesn't work what you have to do is skip it along a few, cut that, cut it again, remove the bigger bit so you've only got the little bit there. And it shouldn't do this all the time but my Movie Maker hates me so... I think it's just because it hasn't cut something it likes to you know, just repeat this process until you've got all the frames just a second long. Now oh, come on. Everyone. I don't like it today, do you? I'm going to leave my final frame a bit longer. Let's play that. Yeah, there we go, that's roughly it. We'll make that a bit shorter. And there we go, that's basically my animation. Nothing fancy. I might make him fold these wings again. We'll basically just do the frames in reverse. Yeah, I'm cheating them, just copy and paste in. <laughs> okay, that's what we've got there. Our Spiro now moves. That's pretty much it. Then when you think you're happy with your file, you can might want to drag in some music, put it there in the audio bit there, some music going or sound effect, and then you'll go file and when you're happy with it, you go to not save project but save movie file and it'll bring you up to this screen and you'll be like, make sure you just stick to my computer, give it a title, Spiro Move. Save it wherever you want. That's you can just hope for best quality, but if I if you've got it on best fit to file size, you can up that and it'll sometimes give you HD quality so it's widescreen like a Sony Vegas publish, which is quite useful. I'm gonna save that. And then you've got to wait for it to save and save fairly quickly. 
finish it and then I'm going to import to see what it looks like. Where did I save it? And this is basically my finished little Spiro movie. Nothing fancy. There you go, that's basically it. In the next video I'll do a few more complicated things like having a moving background, actually having background and colour to start with, shading, having something actually moving across the screen, stuff like that. But yeah, this is basically it. Basics.